works well. Wow, that's cool. Oh. Oh, okay. My name is Victor Fernandez, and this video is just for you. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so when my account uh, uh, for YouTube reached 600 subscribers, I had this really cool idea in my mind that I would make a video showing every one of you friends out there, awesome, wonderful, fantastic people, what I was using here at home in order to live stream broadcast. And so on a previous video, you may have already seen this, hello, where I showed you my setup and all the stuff that I'm using. So what I was going to do on this one was show you, first of all, number one, I am almost about to hit 700 subscribers. And that's really cool because I never thought that it would, you know, keep, it just keeps climbing, which is really nice. So thank you. And so, and so what I have for you here is my gear. This video is about the gear that I am using and how I'm using it. And I'm going to go through the whole list. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Okay. So super fancy. Uh, my first piece of gear. Oh, I have it out of order. Don't I? Ah, I've ruined it. Completely ruined it. Totally ruined it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Starting with the mouse. The mouse is a, a wireless mouse. You can see it right here. It's a Logitech G602. I ended up buying re uh, rechargeable batteries because I just, you know, want to be green and all of that. So I have this really neat little battery charger here, which is actually mounted on a 3D printed. Oh, but this video is coming out better than I thought. On a 3D printed charger holder for the wall that I designed myself on Thingiverse, check out that website, it's amazing. I'll show it to you if I can grab this camera and travel to my wall. Aha, there it is. Okay, so I can put this here, right? I designed that on Thingiverse. I can share the model and the batteries go right there. So I keep those batteries charged and when my lovely G602 runs out of battery, I can just easily replace the batteries. So G602, let's move on. The keyboard, which is a fantastic keyboard. Uh, I've been using it now for maybe two years. And recently, one of the keys switches started failing. So the advantage of a mechanical keyboard is that you can take that switch out and take the and replace the part. And so therefore, it just one part at a time and it ships with a few extras which is very helpful lovely lovely jubbly lovely jubbly okay that's i am i <laughs> i heard that on youtube but i'm not british okay all right the headphones that i'm wearing uh these are the the bayer dynamics dt 770 pro they are fantastic studio headphones they've got powerful bass great great uh, range uh, very clear across all of the registers. I really enjoy them. They're not too punchy, but the bass has power. And for listening to music or even recording, they're awesome. The microphone that you see me using when I make these videos is this one, the PG81 by a company called Shure PG81. Very, very good microphone. And then a very inexpensive microphone stand, which you can see right here. It's bolted to my desk. I'm revealing all the secrets. <laughs> it's bolted to my desk right down there. And works so far works great. Can't really cannot complain with that. All right, so now let's get into the the audio, the uh, interface. Okay, so this is a analog to digital interface and what that means is that it takes an analog signal from a microphone like this one and it converts it into a digital signal that goes uh, plugs into your computer via USB I I have that right under this camera uh, mounted on 3d printed brackets that I actually got off Thingiverse check out that website and I'll show it to you right here so that is the audio interface 
the brackets are down here the lighting is not great but I bet you I could turn on the flashlight on my phone and you could see it ta-da oh that's so awesome so awesome okay great and by the way this shelf is also sitting on 3d printed brackets as you can clearly see I do have a 3d printer which is back there that will be another video that is not within the scope of this this video here so Bayer no not Bayer Behringer audio interface it's an excellent device and you can also plug in uh, like an instrument so if you had uh, like an electric violin like I do that works the stream deck I, I need to tell you nothing else other than get it it's in an amazing 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 device if I had known how good this was I would have bought the 32 key version of the stream deck it is so good so good so save your money buy a stream deck it's right here Boop, right here let me see if I can bring you closer to this right flying in there stream deck with all of my different settings sound effects I can do my baby voice if I wanted to but I'm not going to but it's so versatile in how much you can do and I, just today actually I was able to, to learn how to set up some sound effects so like earlier when I did that clapping and if I wanted to do anything else I could like you know stuff like that okay great I'm clearly still learning how to use this so uh, anyway so moving on stream deck awesome powerful tool and by the way I'm recording this video using OBS which is on my main screen here okay so OBS is phenomenal use it very very easy to use I learned on YouTube if I can do it anyone can okay all right so these are cool uh, these lights are by Philips Hue and what they do is they change color depending on the game you're playing so if I'm playing Minecraft and I'm in the nether the whole background lights up red but at the same time you can set like moods and like like turquoise and blue and make it look very pretty I have those behind my monitor right back right back there and I will show you let's take a tour here we go here we go ah there they are so that wood stand that you see down there I built that with just some spare wood I had in the yard they're sitting back there and I can probably tell Alexa to change the color this is an unscripted moment here I can probably tell Alexa to change the color let me try that let's try that Alexa set back lights to red and of course that didn't work because the, the the bridge was disconnected oh if I turn this on maybe it'll work all right we'll come back to that possibly we'll come back to that stop light sync aha will it work not now Alexa set back lights to red it worked okay phenomenal now I can show you oh my gosh this is awesome so now let's turn this off and there you go Alexa set back lights to turquoise Alexa set back lights to blue Alexa set back lights to green yes awesome so now you see how awesome these are so if you're in the nether or if you're in the overworld or whatever game you're playing no man's sky Roblox Minecraft doesn't matter anyway so that worked I'm very very happy that that little uh, demonstration worked that was unscripted completely unscripted I am so glad that worked out okay moving on these are four spotlights typically you use them when you want to light up the front of your house I'm looking at this camera the front of your house for holidays or Halloween so they come with this little remote uh, there it's a little bit there it is okay little remote and you can change the color of the lights my lighting rig is not super fancy right now I again built that stand that you saw earlier and it, and and don't laugh at me but this piece back here by the way that is a, a leftover piece of screening enclosure and then that's mounted to a actual legitimate an actual legitimate 
speaker, uh, sorry, light mount that I bought on Amazon, which is bolted to that little wood stand that the lights are sitting on. So it's like a T. This part uh, right up here is screening enclosure and the lights are bolted. I uh, just drilled through and I use some bolts to hold them in place. I do have another light that I haven't plugged in to maybe light up the back behind me, which would look pretty cool. So cheap, not super. Notice that the lighting is a little bit bluish. I'm not a fan of how blue I look right now, but I could change the lights if I wanted to like green. Uh, there you go. Green lights. But I have to do it with my hand. So it's not it's not super fancy, but but I mean, the colors are cool if you're just hanging out and there you go. So the colors are pretty neat. I just keep it on white. But I, I've seen better lighting setups out there on YouTube, so I'll go for that. Moving on. These are the clamps that are behind the desk. You just saw them. You just saw those clamps. Okay, this is the Canon Rebel T7i. The, okay, the one pictured here is not the exact same model. So the one that I'm using is the Canon Rebel T7i. And it's got a great picture quality, connects via USB. And again, you can see it right there, Canon Rebel T7i. The, there's no battery, by the way. It's plugged directly into the electrical. So there is a battery adapter that, that looks fits like a battery with a cable coming out right there. And that's a USB cable plugged to the computer, which, by the way, is my pride and joy, this computer. I built this in 2008 for the let, let's go for one view on this video okay let's go for one view because it's getting too long and no one's gonna watch this so if you've made it this far my pride and joy is my desktop i built it in 2008 when i was after my first year of teaching at raw middle school and it's the original case so check it out this here my pride and joy i've built this computer three times and i've kept the same case over and over i'm on my third build and if anyone on the, out there can tell me how i can get a an rtx 3090 ah, that would be great okay moving on Canon Rebel T7i the chair that I'm using super comfortable oh this camera the chair that I'm using very very comfortable and th that's it so basically yeah uh, I basically ran, ran out of stuff so I hope you've enjoyed this video about the things that are making up my streaming setup I am completely self-taught I can I am a teacher by training so if there's anything I can help you learn you let me know like how to get this Minecraft font that's so cool right down here with that little creeper a eh? uh, you let me know I appreciate the almost 700 subs thank you thank you I am so appreciative and so with that being said I'm going to leave you with just a sound effect because why not and uh, huge round of <laughs> let's stop that and so thank you see you guys uh, very very soon